In this video, I'll show you step by step how you can add a printable certificate of completion to your Articulate Storyline course with variables under certificate for a username, a course name, and a user score. Hi, I'm Mark Spermon from Purport Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. If you want to add a printable certificate to your Storyline course with the current data on the certificate and also the username, there are different ways to accomplish this. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add a HTML certificate to your Storyline course and how you can pass Storyline variables to HTML. Now, at the end of this video, I'll show you the link where you can download my solution that you can use in your next Storyline course. So now let's see what I've got here. So I've got here a, a really simple uh, Storyline project with a starting slide where a user has to fill in his name that is on the certificate at the end. What you also can do is with some JavaScript code get the username from the LMS and a user don't has to fill in his name on the first slide. Now, uh, second slide is one question and on the last slide, now you see here a, a well done and here's a button to print a certificate. And on the print, a, a button to print a certificate, there is an execute JavaScript. Now, um, what I will do now is I will show you my HTML certificate and then I will uh, return to Storyline. So this is the HTML certificate that I've created. You see uh, here uh, we will fill in the username, the name of the uh, course where the certificate is for, and there's also a place for the score. So there are three variables. Um, now let's uh, go back to Articulate Storyline and let's see how I've done this with these variables. So what I've done in Articulate Storyline, uh, here you have your my first variable, uh, a user fill in his name and the the, the Contents will be saved in the user ver of in the variable student name. What I've done next is I created two other variables. I have here a variable course name, uh, which contains the name of this course. So you can add, uh, uh, add it, and it will be on the uh, uh, on the certificate. And I've also created a, a variable course score uh, with a default value of eighty percent. But you can also create a, a variable score and uh, input the score of a uh, uh, result slide in it. So, and with these three variables, I'll go to the last page. Here is a print certificate button, this one, and if a user clicks on it, uh, JavaScript will be executed. So let's open the JavaScript window. Now what you see here is that the first line, um, JavaScript, uh, get the play uh, get for a player means that it will uh, 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 receives all uh, storyline variables, and on the next three lines, I have here the uh, storyline variable student name, course name, and course score, and I will save them in uh, JavaScript variables U name, C name, and score. And then what I'll do here is I'll create a one uh, uh, JavaScript var variable. Um, that says story content ex uh, slash external HTML files slash certificate.html because that's the path where you can find my certificate.html uh, when I've published my course. And what I will do is I'll pass the variables through the query string in uh, my browser. So I can see, uh, show you how that's, uh, how that looks like. One moment. So here you see my uh, certificate. And what you see here is that you, that in the query string, here are the uh, variables. So you see U name with the contents, C name with the contents, with the name of the uh, uh, course. And at the end, there's also score, which is 80. And uh, on my certificate uh, HTML, I will uh, retrieve these values and um, set it in HTML. Uh, that's the next step I want to show you. So when a user, um, uh, clicks on the button this javascript will be executed and on the last line of javascript javascript says uh, a window open and which uh, what he must open is this url and uh, 
certificate.html. Now let's click on OK. And let's check the HTML file that I've created uh, right now. So that you can do in Notepad++, um, Notepad or any other HTML editor. So myself, I use uh, Sublime Text. Now what you see here, you see uh, uh, this is a HTML document um, with the title of the HTML uh, document. Here there are some uh, uh, style sheets. And from here there is a JavaScript that catches the uh, values from the variables in the URL string. Uh, I don't gonna explain this because yeah, you can uh, find it on the internet and paste it here. And here I'll have defined my own variables. So uh, uh, JavaScript variable username, where I'll re uh, set the contents of uname in it. Now, same for the C name and course name and the same for core score for the score. And here I'll uh, get the uh, date that for today. Now, and here you see um, my body of my HTML document where I'll create, create my certificate. And what I do here, for instance, uh, with the username is that I'll paste the, uh, the contents of the variable here. I do it here for the course name and I do it here for the course score. And here I'll do it for the, uh, for the date and here for the username so we can uh, assign his own uh, certificate if you want to. And here what I'll do is I'll uh, add my logo to it. Now, what happens if uh, a user clicks on uh, the button? Let's uh, preview now the Articulate Storyline course and let's see what happens. So I published my course. I click on open here. Now I'll go to the folder where my course is opened. Let's see why it it's on my other screen right now. So I'll have to drag it uh, uh, here. So what I do now is I click the story.html and it will open in the browser, also in my other window. So let's drag it to this window, one moment. So there it is. So what you see here is my course. So I can fill in my name here. I have to do it right. So, so that's my name, click on continue. Now, uh, in a real uh, a course, you get a bunch of questions. And now I have only one question, so I click this is correct, submit, and it can be go to the next page. So the next page is well, my well done slide. And what uh, happens if I click on the print certificate button, um, JavaScript opens a new uh, a window and it loads my certificate.html file, where you see that in the uh, a query string there are different variables and i catch the variables and place it in the html file so you see here the name the title of the course and also a course score and here is the current date the date of today uh, generated by javascript now normally what you have to do is the uh, certificate.html is not a standard a storyline uh, HTML file. So you have to put it manually in the published folder every time you publish a course. But I have uh, a solution for you that you have to only do it once and then you cannot forget it. So uh, let's go back to a uh, storyline uh, for a moment. What I've done here in storyline, you see there is a, a page that, that's not in my, uh, yeah, in my flow, uh, let's say. And if you go to the page, there is nothing on it, but I has changed the properties. The player uh, features here, I'll uh, have set it on custom for selected slides. And here I'll uh, check the resources for this one. So only on this slide, um, the resources will be shown, but a user won't, uh, will, not show, uh, will not see this uh, slide in his course. Um, so on all the other slides, the resources are not shown, but because Storyline sees that the resources are here, it will load the resources. So what you can do is you go, can go to your player. And here on resources, I have here uh, uploaded my certificate.html file. So I've done this once and now I can publish my course and Articulate Storyline automatically adds the certificate.html file uh, 
yeah to my published project so uh, so uh, this way i cannot forget to add it because otherwise uh, a user cannot see his um, certificate so in this way you can add a html certificate to your articulate storyline course where the, that a user can print now um i promise that i will sh uh, would share um the javascript file and also the uh, certificate.html file and you can download it from airportonlinelearning.com slash storyline dash certificate dash of completion and you can see the link in the video and i will also uh, share the link uh, in uh, in the description of this video below now did you find this uh, slides uh, really attractive and uh, one uh, Will you also use these slides? I'll use uh, a team by Faster Course. Um, they have uh, a, a bunch of articulate storyline templates that I think are really nice. And you can uh, purchase them now with 10% discount. So if you go to fastercourse.com and purchase the storyline templates, if you fill in the coupon code Upward Online, you get a 10% discount uh, for now. So I hope you can use this uh, HTML certificate in your next e-learning project. Do you have any questions about embedding your Articulate Storyline course in WordPress or about Articulate Storyline in Common? Then please comment below these videos and I promise to answer it. And if you want to create great engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I build. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.